organize itself. The left is the only side of the argument that organizes itself. The right has never figured out how to organize. They just always show up. Which is what? Yeah, no, they just always show up. It's mm -hmm. who they, like, it is what they do. We have always figured out on the left how to bring out folks, to make folks come to the polls, to bring folks to actions. But the money on the left is shrinking. Mm -hmm. We are, if you look, there are only, like, the major donor in the Democratic Party is Fred Eichner, who is in the uh, state of Illinois. I think he gave somewhere near $10 million to the last election. Sheldon Adelson gave $83 million. The Koch brothers were over $100 million. At, when we fight, we don't fight on the same playing field. The only way that we've been able to fight over the last 50 years is that organized labor has been at the table to make up the gap. Mm -hmm. The four largest uh, donors at the top 10 uh, for spending money are AFSME, SEIU, the IFT, and the IEA. If you take away our money, it's all Republican. It's all right wing. So yes, we are able to bring folks together on the left, but we are resource limited. Mm -hmm. If we can bring folks together and do more for access to opportunity and enhance people's ability to get back into the middle class through a variety of programs, when people are in the middle class, they participate more in the process and they fight harder for the things they want. And I think that that brings the left back to the table in a larger way. If you look at movements from the 60s and 70s, folks felt safe enough to participate because they had their, like, the immediate needs were being met. Now we have a whole bunch of communities where the immediate needs aren't even being met. And when that population is, is so large, there's no time to get involved. So I think the left can get there. I just think the left is resource limited at the moment.